In this session, we are going to cover about sorting. Uh, so in this section, we will be uh, covering on uh, what all are the applications of sorting, in which area sorting is required, uh, what all are the different types of sorting. Uh, then we will be covering about uh, three kinds of sorting algorithm, which is called uh, selection sort, bubble sort and quick sort. So let's continue. Uh, so why sorting? or what is sorting sorting is uh, arrangement of uh, data sets in a particular order ascending order or descending order it all depends upon how you want to arrange so the process of arranging is called sorting it is estimated that 20 to 25 percent oh, sorry 25 to 50 percent of computing power is used for sorting activities so sorting is uh, very much required or vastly used in our programs mainly uh, any complex program if you are solving it might require some kind some kind of sorting so it's uh, good to know good sorting algorithms and uh, should have some hands-on practice on uh, basic sorting algorithms why uh, why sorting is uh, so much of required uh, because many applications require sorting many applications perform sorting when they don't have to Many applications use insufficient sorting algorithm. So why it is important for us to learn sorting is uh, if we have a very large data, very large data set, and we are not able to sort the data in a proper manner or in a efficient manner, this could lead us to a very inefficient program, and uh, our performance of the program will be very poor. So it is always better to apply a proper sorting technique as and when it is required don't apply sorting with where it is not required apply sorting wherever wherever it is required and apply the proper algorithm so some kind of uh, applications which require sorting is uh, examples like prepare a list of student id names scores in a table uh, for easy checking uh, now this table can be sorted by ID or name so it depends upon how we want to perform our operations uh, other type could be to prepare list of scores before grade assignment so scores can be listed in an ascending or descending order to produce a list of uh, horses after race sorted by finishing time uh, for payoff calculations to prepare an originally unsorted array for ordered binary searching these are the just uh, very few examples of uh, where sorting can be applicable but um, this is just uh, four, four instances where sorting is used but there are number of instances where uh, sorting is required and it also depends upon your need like whether you want sorting or not and uh, it depends upon uh, your architecture it depends upon your logic of solving your program uh, so it's uh, just make sure whether our programs require sorting or not and apply the sorting technique as and when it is required so uh, in this session we will be covering about three kind of sorting methods one is uh, selection sort one is bubble sort and one is quick sort uh, we, so let's start with the selection sort so selection sort performs sorting by repeatedly putting the largest element in the unsorted portion of array to the end uh, of this unsorted portion until the whole array is sorted so it's very uh, it's very uh, simple algorithm where it where it starts with a complete array finds the largest element in the array replaces the largest element pushes the largest element at the end of the array shrinks the array by one position and then again in the next iteration tries to find out the, la the largest element in the shrink array put it at the end shrink the array again and so on until the whole array is covered so this is how uh, selection sort works so this is the algorithm uh, of selection sort define an entire array as an unsorted portion of array okay while unsorted portion of an array has more than one element 
that means we have some element in an unsorted array find its largest element okay swipe the largest element with the uh, last element reduce the unsorted portion of the array by one so this this is a looping kind of uh, behavior where we will be finding a uh, largest element from the unsorted portion of the array replacing it with the last element and then again our uh, array is reduced by one so we will be continuing this process until we don't have any uh, uh, any element in the array or any element in the unsorted portion of the array so this is uh, how sorting uh, will work uh, selection sort uh, before sorting this is our array okay so this is this is our unsorted portion of the array before sorting okay so uh, after the first pass we found that the largest element in this unsorted array is 17 so what we'll do replace 7 by 17 like 17 is moved to the last position and we swipe with uh, this position so now this will become our unsorted portion this uh, this uh, highlighted portion will be not will not be considered so this will be the unsorted portion of the array in this unsorted unsorted portion we again find the largest element so 14 is the largest element we again swipe 14 with 7 so 7 comes here 14 comes here which reduce our unsorted portion again so in this unsorted portion 10 is the highest element we replaces uh, 10 with 3 okay now in this uh, portion we find 7 is the highest element we replaces 7 with uh, 1 because uh, this uh, the last element of unsorted uh, portion is 1 so we replace 7 with 1 and we continue this process till we find uh, uh, there is no element left in the unsorted uh, portion so at the end we will end up in a sorted array so this is the sorted array if we follow this procedure this will be the sorted array so the code for this uh, very simple code uh, this uh, code in this code we are having uh, we are expecting a data uh, uh, integer array and uh, size of the uh, size of the array then we are declaring two variable temp and max index we are uh, doing a loop which is from uh, end of the array to the zeroth element of the array then we are assigning max index equal to zero now we are running one more loop which is from the first element to the rightmost which is the which is uh, this one okay from first element to the rightmost element then what we are doing is we are just comparing if the current uh, portion is greater than the maximum portion then we are uh, interchanging uh, max index equal to current once our uh, this loop is completed what we are uh, what we will be doing is uh, we will we will be swiping the value uh, of the max index with the rightmost element we will be swiping the value and this process will be uh, keep on continuing until we exhaust it with the unsorted portion which is represented by the outer portion of the array okay so this is our array before sorting okay now uh, what we will be doing in the first part of portion is we will be finding the largest position in the unsorted array which is 17 we will be we will be replacing 17 with the last element so 17 comes here 7 will be uh, replaced with 17 because 7 is the last element 17 is the greater greatest element so 17 and 7 will be replaced again uh, this will be our unsorted array or uh, unsorted portion uh, what we will be doing is we will be finding the maximum uh, max uh, ele uh, element in the or max value in the unsorted array which is now 14 will be replacing uh, will be putting 14 at the end 
so 14 will come here 7 will come here again in this portion we'll find the max element now we now the max element is 10 we'll be putting 10 here and replaces uh, and 3 will come to the tens position this will be our unsorted array now and in this unsorted array 7 is the highest element 7 will be pushed to the end which is replaced by 1 and so on so that at the end we are, we are uh, sorting the array in increasing order uh, this is very simple example and very well known technique for sorting the array uh, this uh, the complexity of uh, this program is o of o of n square b co notation of n square um, why n square because uh, we are uh, running the running two loops here suppose we have an element of uh, say uh, size n so maximum time that our code can take to sort the array will be equal to n square okay bubble sort so bubble sort uh, examines uh, the array from start to end okay Any time it finds the largest element uh, before the smaller element, it swipes the two. So while traversing itself, it keep on swiping. In this way, the largest element uh, are passed towards the end. Okay, so whatever is the largest element, it keeps on swiping, keeps on swiping, and it uh, passed to, towards the end. The largest element of the array therefore bubbles to the end of the array. So that is why it's called bubble bubble sort because every time every iteration we are swiping uh, the variable or swiping the largest element and it will be passed to the end or uh, copied to the end portion of the array. Uh, it this process is repeated until uh, the unsorted portion of array is uh, exhausted or we don't have any unsorted portion uh, of the array. So again, this is very similar to uh, selection sort. Uh, only thing is that it keeps on swiping uh, the element and keeps on pushing the largest element to, towards the end of the array. So here's the algorithm. Uh, in this, uh, in bubble sort, what we are doing is defining an entire array as an unsorted array. While the unsorted portion of the array has more than one element, for each element in the unsorted portion, swipe the next neighbor if it is larger than the neighbor. So we are comparing uh, two neighbors, which one is the largest we will be swiping. Okay. Suppose uh, value at position i is say 1 and value of, uh, sorry, value of position i is, uh, is say 10 and value of position i plus 1 is say 9. Then what we are doing is we are, uh, re uh, we are shuffling this. Uh, or swiping the position of i and i plus 1 and so on still uh, we find the end of the sorted, unsorted array and we copy the unsorted portion of the array or sorry we copy the largest element at the end of uh, end of the array once uh, the first iteration is done we reduce our un uh, size of the unsorted array by 1 and we keep on keep continuing this operation until and unless we are, until and unless we are uh, done with our array or until and unless there is no unsorted portion is left in our array okay so let's see uh, how this works uh, bubble sort so this is our unsorted portion uh, of the array Now outer will rep represent the last index of the array, inner will represent the first index of the array. We will check whether uh, the neighbor of, uh, whether the uh, neighbor of inner and inner, uh, uh, we will find the largest element between inner and inner plus one. And then if inner, in inner, inner uh, value at inner portion is uh, less than value at inner plus one we will swipe the value so here we'll compare 14 and 2 14 is greater than 2 so we'll swipe 14 
then we compare 14 with 10 14 is greater than 10 uh, then we will swipe with 14 uh, we will compare 14 with 5 14 is greater than 5 we will swipe 14 14 compare with 1 14 is greater than 1 we will swipe the value 14 compare with 3 14 is greater we will swipe 14 14 compare with 17 17 is greater so we will not do again now our our index comes to here and then 17 compares with 7 17 is greater so we will move 17 here so at the end we will uh, we will we have moved our largest position or the uh, largest element to the end of the array so 17 will come here now we are we are left with this array as the unsorted un unsorted portion okay now we will again start with uh, the unsorted portion we will compare 2 with uh, 10 it's okay 2 is less than 10 so we cannot do anything now 10 is compared with 5 10 is greater so 10 is moved here 5 is moved here 10 is compared with 1 uh, 10 is greater so 1 is uh, moved at 10's place 10 is moved here 10 is compared with 3 10 is greater 10 is moved here uh, sorry 3 is moved here 10 is moved here uh, 10 compared with uh, 14 uh, 14 is greater so we will not continue with 10 anymore now again our uh, comparison portion will become 14 14 will compare with uh, 7 uh, 14 is greater so we will swipe 7 and 14 7 will come here 14 will come here so this makes our unsorted portion as this one again we start with 2 so our unsorted portion will be uh, uh, this array again we will continue with 2 2 compares with 5 uh, there won't be anything to do because 2 is uh, less than 5 5 compare with 1 5 is greater so 1 and 5 are interchanged 5 compare with 3 um, 5 is greater so 3 and 5 are interchanged 5 compare with 10 no result 10 compare with uh, 7 7 is uh, less lesser than 10 so we will swipe 7 and 10 so we are left with this and uh, this portion is the unsorted array and now 2 is compared with 1 2 is greater so we will interchange 2 and 1 uh, 2 compared with 3 2 is less than 3 so we will move ahead 3 compared with 5 3 is less than 5 so we will move ahead 5 compared with 7 so, so we will not compare 5 with 7 because this is our unsorted portion so we uh, we have and uh, we have end up that we don't have to make any more uh, comparisons so at the end we are have, we are left of uh, we are left with the sorted array and this is how the bubble sorts works bubble sort algorithm is uh, let's uh, we revisit the algorithm define an entire portion as the uh, unsorted portion of the array while the unsorted portion of the array has more than one element okay so while the unsorted array has more than an, an one element this is whatever is not shadowed like in this color this is the unsorted portion for each element in the unsorted portion swipe the next bigger next neighbor for its larger uh, next neighbor if it is larger than the neighbor so if uh, if this current uh, element is larger than the its neighboring element, we will swipe the value. So like this, we will be shuffling all the bigger values towards the right portion of the array. And we keep on uh, doing that and reducing our sorted, uh, sorted, unsorted portion of the array by one. And we keep on pushing the largest element at the end. And finally, we end up at the with the sorted array. So this is the code for uh, bubble sort. Uh, so this is the code for bubble sort. So in bubble sort, uh, we are uh, we are have we declared one function or we defined one function called bubble, which accepts a uh, integer array and size of the array. Now we have uh, one variable temp. We are running to loop. Uh, outer equal to size minus 1, outer is greater than 0, outer minus minus, 
inner equal to 0 inner is less than outer so uh, we are uh, running from 0 till outer we are not considering outer so last but one element and inner plus plus so if data at inner is greater than data at inner plus one swipe the element okay so we will keep on swiping the element uh, till uh, data at inner is uh, greater than data at in, uh, inner plus one and we will continue uh, once the inner loop is con uh, is uh, finished once the inner loop is done the largest element in the unsorted array is swiped with the last element of the array okay so this is how one iteration is done we will be keep on doing this iteration iteration until our uh, uh, unsort size of unsorted array is zero so this is the code for bubble sort uh, i'd like you to try this code on your own and uh, try to solve the problem or try to sort an array using bubble sort this will give you more uh, understanding on how bubble sort is used so quick sort uh, quick sort is the fastest known algorithm or fastest known sorting algorithm in practice um, that is why it is named as quick sort the average case of uh, quick sort is o n log n uh, worst case is n square uh, uh, but the worst case is like it is very rare to happen but on an average a quick sort can sort our element in n log n uh, time uh, other algorithms that we have covered like bubble sort and selection sort these uh, algorithm uh, solves the problem in n square time so definitely n square is greater than n log n and qu hence quick sort is more efficient than uh, the sorting algorithm and whatever other sorting algorithms are there quick sort is the most efficient algorithm uh, for sorting the array so let's see how quick sort works quick sort works in a divide and con uh, conquer technique so divide and conquer is a very known uh, technique in uh, solving uh, or developing an algorithm uh, divide and conquer majorly works uh, in a recursive manner where uh, uh, we de we divide our solution to a smaller smaller solution and small solve the smaller solution uh, and use the result of the smaller solution to solve the bigger solution that is why that is how the uh, divide and conquer uh, works any problem any big problem divided into a smaller problem and we solve the smaller problem use the result to solve the big problem so this is how uh, the quick sort works in quick sort we pick any element as pivot okay uh, so we selected suppose this is set of elements okay and we have selected one pivot as b v pivot is any element in the in the array okay now partition s so that uh, all the element at the left of v are less than v and all the element at the right of v are greater than v so we have divided this array into two parts uh, we have selected one pivot and we have divided the array in two parts one part has all the element which are less than v one part has all the element in which are greater than v and we will solve this problem again we will pick up one pivot from this and try to uh, partition the array again and again so and we keep on doing this solution uh, keep on doing this uh, uh, divide uh, uh, partitioning as until we get all the partitions in a sorted manner so conquer step is recursively sort s1 and s2 so here we divided uh, the array in two part conquer will be solve this one solve this one so earlier what we have what our problem is our problem is to solve this one after division what our problem is reduced to solving this one and this one so, so we, we we keep on dividing we keep on dividing until and unless our problem statements is become smaller and smaller and once uh, we got uh, 
very small results will propagate the solution upwards so that uh, we can get uh, we can solve the uh, bigger solution comparing with the result of the smaller solution so combine the uh, step uh, combine step the sorted s1 uh, followed by v uh, followed by the sorted s2 so sorted s1 followed by v followed by sorted s2 this is our final solution so this is the pseudo code of uh, quick sort algorithm so how quick sort works quick sort is uh, we have an input array now we have a quick sort method uh, so and if a left is less than right that means we have a valid condition uh, we'll select one pivot uh, and we'll partition uh, our array or we will partition our array with the pivot so we have two portions uh, one is left as left index and pivot minus one one is left as pivot plus one and the right index and we perform quick sort on these uh, left portion and then quick sort on right portion so this is a recursive approach where we are keep on uh, solving this uh, we are we are keep on dividing the solution till we reach uh, some position where we have only single position single portion and there is nothing to solve in a single element or single portion so we propagate it up and uh, solve it so this is how pictorically we can represent quick sort uh, how it solves assume this is a bigger set we select one pivot element say 65 and we divide our um, array into two portion one portion is less than 65 one portion is greater than 65 we solve this smaller portion uh, and combine the solution of the uh, this uh, smaller portion to get final result with where our com entire array is sorted so let's write some code for uh, quick sort let's try to solve uh, or write a program to uh, to see how quick sort works so let's write some code to uh, understand how quick sort works so this is a program how quick sort works i have uh, written two methods one is a method called quick sort which actually performs quick sort one is a method partition which partitions our array uh, for a given pivot value okay so uh, let's see how quick sort uh, works so this is how uh, quick sort uh, method is uh, looks like so i have taken two variable p and r p is the po uh, starting position r is the um, pivot value or end position we are in this example we are considering pivot as the last element of the array so mm, we are, this is our exit condition if p is greater than r then we are returning uh, then we are calling partition method uh, which will partition our array from start to the end element where end element is the pivot uh, this is how uh, partition method works so we are having so two variables i equal to p minus 1 j equal to p and temp uh, and temporary variable we are running a loop uh, where from j till r where until j is less than r if at any point of time a of j is less than a of r we will be swiping the value will be incrementing i and swiping the value of i and j okay once we are done with this loop we will be we will be swiping the value of i with r incrementing the i and return so i will be our partition uh, like uh, value from p to i mi i minus 1 will be uh, partitioned and value from i plus 1 to r will be partitioned and i will be replaced at the correct position okay so here uh, we the partition method uh, returns where uh, returns an in, uh, integer or the uh, correct index of uh, our pivot and then uh, we call quick sort 
method uh, in a recursive manner to sort our array from p to part minus one and the and subsequently calling quick quick sort to sort the uh, part plus one to r so this is our left portion this is our right portion uh, so the part whatever the value which is uh, written by a partition uh, function will be the correct position of a pivot in an array when we sort the array so uh, we uh, this part position divided the array in two uh, two parts one one part like this part will be having all the value which is uh, less than the element at this position and this part will be having that like part plus one till r will be having all the values which is greater than the pivot element and so on we will be continuing iteratively and uh, ultimately we will be uh, sorting the array so in main method what i am doing is i am declaring an integer variable uh, integer array uh, of size 10 you can see this this is an unsorted array okay uh, we are calling quick sort uh, where we are giving the array uh, 0th position and the end position of the array so this quick sort method will have sort our entire array and then we are printing our sorted array okay so let's try to compile and run the program compilation is successful let's try to run it so uh, we are getting an array in a sorted order so let's revisit the program again we have two functions quick sort and partition we will uh, perform quick sort on the partition array so partition method will do nothing but partition or uh, array or give a given index which uh, partition or array in two halves uh, one half is uh, uh, less than uh, one half has all the elements less than pivot one half has all the element get greater than pivot once we once we get this uh, index what we are doing is we are again performing quick sort on the uh, remaining halves which is equal to start and part minus one part plus one and r so this is how uh, we can uh, solve we, we can solve quick sort using divide and conquer approach um, and this is divide and conquer approach is very helpful in these kind of techniques uh, okay i'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video please like the video and if you have any doubts regarding this video Please comment us in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos. Do look out for other related videos in our playlist. For more information, visit our website now. Keep learning with IntelliPat.